This is weird, right? What is? Cake at a funeral? Yes. I mean, it's a cake. Whenever you've ever gotten a cake at something that wasn't a celebration. You graduate high school, here's a cake. You live another year of your life, here's a cake. I mean, why here? You lost. Every year of your life, people make cakes for you. And the last one, you're not even around to eat. I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is you. This is a cake. Your lives are more similar than you'd think. I mean, you're born, you meet some people, and then you're gone. From a young age, who you are is ingrained into you. It's like your ingredients. What you look like, what your favorite music is, who your first crush was, every broken bone, every haircut, all-nighter, vacation, book read, test fail, everything you are results in the culmination of an identity. Your whole life is measured by cake. Every year of your life begins and ends with some candles and a song, and you and your family eating sweet bread and sugar to congratulate you on one more year of survival. From the day you're born to the day you die, every year, there's a cake. It's such a strange cultural phenomenon. It could have been anything. We could be singing around a birthday muffin, or a birthday steak, or, I don't know, a birthday flip-flop. But we got cake. Relationships are a lot like icing a cake. You think everything's good, you're happy, you think your partner's happy, and eventually, everything just looks right. It just feels right. Until it doesn't. Then you have to tear that person out of your life, remove all memory of them, cut them out, peel them off. You're left exposed. You're never really the same. You never look the same. You never feel the same. Parts of the other person are still ingrained into you. And here you sit alone until you're not. Look, a new person, a new chapter of your life is starting. She could be the one. She just might be the... Uh, no, no, never mind. Back to the single life for you. Maybe you're just meant to be alone. Maybe you're... Uh, oh, hello. This girl's something. Damn, maybe she's... up. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind. What about this one? Too clingy. What about this one? Uh, too self-centered. Try her again? Uh, wait, nope, nope, I remember why this didn't work. No, 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 no. What about this one? Uh, no. Wait, wait, go back to that one. Wait, no, 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 that last one. No, you idiot, that was the one. That was her, God, you moron. Maybe you're the problem. Oh, oh, she's back. Oh, this is nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is good. This is what you were looking for. She feels right. Like the icing on a cake. So, here you are, with all your ingredients and icing and candles adding up by the year. You begin to give pieces of yourself away. You give away the small amount of time you have. But when you've given yourself to everything you love, what do you leave for yourself? And then one day, you die. You can't hold on forever. Food just goes bad. It gets old. You'll always have regrets and you'll always have things you hold on to, but what did you give your life to? Was it your family? Did you give too much to work? Did you give it all to your kids and your friends and your wife? Cakes aren't meant to be eaten alone. One day you'll take a deep breath and blow out more candles than you ever thought you'd make it to. And then, surrounded by everything you've given your life to, you'll have the last piece for yourself. Take your time. You can have your life and eat it too.